It's that time again. It's Kingslayer Hoops, and welcome to my Triangle Offense tutorial. Today we're going to be jumping into the Triangle Offense made famous by Phil Jackson on those amazing Bulls and Lakers teams back in the 90s and early 2000s. So we're going to jump into the triangle offense today, but before we do, I am going to ask you guys, if you support Sim Gameplay, which is what I'm trying to promote here, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helped me out a lot. And also, I recently uploaded a video on the weekend, which was a huge mistake, uh, talking about how I think Derrick Rose is going to make the All-Star team this year. Uh, if you guys want to go check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. I am trying to do more actual NBA videos this season, so uh, yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in that. And anyway, let's jump right into 2KU mode to take a look at the triangle offense. Okay, so this is the spacing of the triangle offense. You can see on the right side of the court, there is a literal triangle formed by several of the players. And this freelance is good for isolations and for post-ups, but as you could probably tell by the spacing, it's not great for three-pointers, and it's also not particularly great for pick and rolls. But let's jump into some of the scoring options that you can get with this freelance. Okay, so let's jump right into it here. I'm gonna pass the ball into the post. I'm gonna have some movement here, and we're gonna get a nice little mid-range shot from Marcus Saul. Let's slow that down here. So we're gonna swing the ball to the strong side. After we get the post entry pass here, our man in the strong side corner is going to cut across to the other baseline. You're going to see here Van Vliet comes over, sets a screen for Marcus Saul, and Marcus Saul is going to have a nice little mid range jumper. So if your center can shoot middies, that's a nice option for you. Let's take a look at another option that we have in this triangle offense. You can see here we're going to pass to the weak side, and you're going to see our power forward is in the high post here. So there are several things you can do out of this formation, but just so you know in the triangle, you don't always have to pass to the strong side where the actual triangle is. So we're going to pass to the weak side, high post. Guard goes around, bada bing! Okay, so we're going to slow that down as always. High post entry right here. Our man goes around, we set a little pseudo screen right there. Get our guard the ball and he knocks down the easy jumper. So that's a nice simple option with the triangle. Now let's look at another strong side option here. Look at that, that's actually my favorite option. So we'll show you this one again. Strong side here, we swing the ball. Center's gonna come up, set a screen. And my suggestion here is to use a floater if the help defender comes over or pass it off to the power forward in that situation. Okay, let's look at another option in the triangle offense here. Again, we have that same action, but this time we're actually gonna use Marcus Saul, who comes up to screen for us, we swing it across the court and get a nice easy jump shot. So we'll show that again. We swing the ball. We're gonna see Van Vliet goes over the screen, then Marcus Saul sets up an on ball screen. Then there's an off ball screen going on at the same time on the weak side of the court. So I really like that option right there. Here's another one. You're gonna use that same action, but Gasol's gonna come up. And we're actually going to use that pick and roll action. That's one of the rare instances where the pick and roll is actually useful within the context of the triangle offense. And here's one more example, this one on the weak side again. And this is just showing you that you can actually just use that spacing as a nice post up spacing. So you can see the baseline is wide open there and there's a mismatch. So you're going to use that as a drop step opportunity every single time you see that. And now DJ Khaled, another one. We swing it to the weak side. Relocation here. Another post-up opportunity, but this time, double screens. And out of the post-up, we get a three-pointer. So we'll slow that one down again. You can see there's a screen. Kyle Lowry comes inside. We're obviously not going to post up with Kyle Lowry. That's not his strength, but we're using him as a passer out of the post, a la the Golden State Warriors to get an open three-pointer. So now we're gonna jump into some online gameplay. Don't forget to go to your options and set triangle as one of your freelances. And let's jump right into it. We're gonna start the game off. Remember we hit right on the directional pad and select freelance sets and then select triangle to make sure we have that set as our freelance. And now we get into some gameplay against an online opponent. So here you can see Ben Simmons. Gonna slow it down in transition, set up that triangle. 
You can see we're on the weak side here. Ben Simmons is going to relocate to the corner. And we find him for the cut inside. Beautiful. So let's show that one again. I'm going to pass the ball here. Ben Simmons moves to the corner. We get it down to Al Horford. Simmons cuts. And we hit Simmons right away. And he's got a nice, easy dunk opportunity there. So the triangle offense clicking early here. We're up 15 to 4. As the first quarter winds down, we get it into the post. You're going to see here they try to double team. So we hit our man in the corner. He should have hit that one. That's okay. That's a nice shot attempt. So we feel good about that even though he missed it. Another example of the triangle offense. I'm going to pass to my teammate in the corner. Zaire Smith comes over a screen and draws the foul. I wish he had yammed it on Dwight Howard there. But still a really nice play. Able to draw the foul off of that triangle offense. Now we can see transition. We caught him off guard. Quick score. Not exactly the triangle offense, but just throwing that one in there. And as I mentioned before, you can use the triangle to get easy post-op opportunities. Ben Simmons has an obvious height mismatch there. So we use that to our advantage. And we see the same height mismatch here, height and weight mismatch. Ben Simmons inside. Gonna drop step again, another easy one. Very nice, Borat. Fourth quarter here, gonna push it inside, throw it up for the alley-oop. And you can see we're up 12 here and our man, he's gonna rage quit, but he's gonna do it the, the real bitch way by letting the, <laughs> the clock run out. So yeah guys, uh, hopefully you can see the triangle does work online. It's not as good as the corner freelance, which no longer exists. I don't know why they took it out this year. That was one of, my, one of my favorites, but let me know if you guys like using the triangle this year. Let me know if this was helpful to you at all. Let me know what you want me to cover next. And until next time, happy gaming, y'all.